Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to take a look at the GoComma 400 game 8-bit handheld gaming console. Looks like it's a lot of fun. A couple of you guys have mentioned it to me after I did my last review of the other 8-bit uh, gaming console. So, let's go check it out. All right, before we actually go ahead and try this out, let's go ahead and unbox it, see what comes inside when you get this, and we'll check that out. Okay, so here it is, the GoComma 400 game, 2.8 inch TFT 8-bit classic handheld gaming console. And we'll just take a look around the box here. It says this has a digital game system at the, with a 2.8 inch super wide L, uh, LCD screen. The console is slim for portability and trendy. It's a digital multi-platform device, can play on TV. It's backlit function uh, of the screen to ensure players can see everywhere. Uh, it's a powerful rechargeable battery pack that includes an AC adapter and a lithium ion rechargeable battery for six hours of continuous gameplay. So, uh, yeah, other side, otherwise it's just some branding on here. It tells you what actually comes in the box, what color it is. So let's just go ahead and open this thing up and actually see what it looks like and, uh, and check it out. So there we go. I actually have the red version here. So there we go. We have the red uh, game console. We have a, a mini USB. Look at that. They're going old school on here. So this is a mini USB uh, plug on there instead of the um, instead of a micro or a USB-C. Now this is the cables you can use to actually hook this up to a TV set if you like. It doesn't have an HDMI port, which would be nice, but they do have the uh, RCA cables there, so you can use that to hook up. And um, let's see, what do we have? We have the user manual there, and uh, it looks like the battery's already in here, so let's take a look. So let's see here. Yep, the battery is in there. It is a 800 milliamp uh, hour battery, so this should last for a good long while. And let's turn this thing on and see how uh, if there's any juice. So, yeah, look at that. There's juice in there. So we'll go ahead and we'll put it on uh, English. And uh, let's see, we'll hit, uh, what is this? We'll hit start or just, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Already, it's, uh, it's uh, looks like it's up and running, looking pretty good. And you can see here that it says there's all kinds of games. It looks like there's eight on each screen. Yeah, if we go to the last screen there, there are 400 games on this thing. So um, there's a ton of them. You can see from the first screen there, there's some really good classics like Super Mario Brothers, uh, Mario 14, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, Dr. Mario, Mario Brothers, Turtle 1, Turtle Fighter, Contra, and if we go to the next screen, there's like Contra Force, Super Contra, Cage, Jackal. There's all kinds of good stuff in here. Chippendales, uh, Snow Brothers, there's uh, Double Dragons. Um, you can just keep going on and on and on to find all kinds of great classic games in there. And if you want to play something, let's say you want to play, um, you know, Donkey Kong, you just go ahead and uh, click on that there and it starts to load up. And you can see that it'll start to load up and it has the Donkey Kong splash screen on there. And just like that, you're ready to go. So in the back out, you just hit the reset button. It takes you back to the home screen and you are good to go. So yeah, there's all, this is a pretty cool device here. I, I have to say it, it, um, it seems like it's going to work really well. And um, I know some of you guys have asked for it, uh, asked me to take a look at this. So I just want to give you guys a quick look around the device here. Um, you can see it's red, it has all the controls here, it has the game controls, this is a reset button right here, this one, this, now this is one thing, it's a little hard to see what these button functions are because it's all, it's, it's like not anything there like stands out, it's not like white on the text, it's just red in there. So this is a select button here, and this is a start button there, so we have a select and a start. Um, these are the, you know, obviously the, the direction pads, and then on the top here, we have the uh, we have the headphone jack, the charging port, and then the on-off switch there. So there's nothing on the sides here except right here. You have the volume uh, you have the volume dial, so you can turn it up and down. So we'll turn this back on here, and uh, you can turn that up as you can hear, and then we can turn it back down there as well. So um, yeah. And then again, this is the on off switch, turn it there and the device turns off. So anyways, this is it you guys. This is the, uh, the GoComma 400 game, uh, game, you know, gaming console. 
It's pretty cool. Um, it's very inexpensive. You can get this actually on um, on GearBest. So I'm going to make sure I leave a link in the uh, in the video description so that you guys can check it out. All right, so there you have it. That is a look at the Go Comma 8-bit. 400 game handheld gaming console. It is a lot of fun as you can see. There are a ton of classic games in there. It really is a fantastic little device and it's inexpensive. Now I actually got this off of GearBest, so I'm going to leave a link to this product in the video description so you guys can check it out. I'm also going to leave a link so you guys can see all the products I've reviewed over time and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.